Man, we're really dredging the depths of humanity with this one. Today we are looking at fragrances on Facebook Marketplace. Unfortunately, I am all too familiar with the Facebook Marketplace fragrance community. You know what, I was going to explain to you what it's like, but uh, let's just let these ads speak for themselves. <laughs> I've had the idea to do this video for a while now, and uh, I signed into Facebook Marketplace just to open it up and have a look around. I haven't been on it for a few weeks, and no joke, this is the first ad that I saw. I didn't even look for fragrance. I just opened up Facebook Marketplace. And what did my wandering eyes see <laughs> but this? So this is a 100 ml of Herba Pura listed for $220. So let me get this straight. This person is trying to sell a used 100 ml Herba Pura <laughs> that has the worst damage I've ever seen to a Zerjoff bottle and who is admitting that it leaks bad enough for it to do that damage. I have to do some research, this is insane. All right, so brand new, this is 250 bucks on Joma Shop. I'm sure there are discount codes that you could use to get that lower. So not only are you buying used for what, 40 bucks less, you're also buying insanely damaged. I'm already tilted and I haven't even looked up the fragrances yet. All right, here's a really good one. Porto Neroli Maison Alhambra, $50. So here's the thing. Uh, in my city, there is no way to get anything like this in a store. You have to go specifically out of your way to order a clone from, I'm assuming, a discounter, unless this guy for some reason decided to order it from the Mesa Alhambra website, which I highly doubt. So this guy is selling this used for $50, and he, I'm pretty sure, knows that you can buy this for $36. So, just a real classic Facebook Marketplace listing. Afnon 9pm Cologne, minimally used, at least 90ml left in the bottle. I don't know if a 10% usage is minimally used, but uh, that's okay. Selling for $40. Uh, here it is being sold for less than that. Brand new. It's like, why? Like, <laughs> why? So this one, uh, this picture just kicks ass. I love how this is so unreadable illegible <laughs> here let me move me uh no list of what's in this picture and uh the quality can we open this in a new tab we can computer enhance enhance if you were not a nerd and uh you didn't know what almost all of these bottles were just off site how would you know what any of this was? A uh, hell of a picture. I couldn't take one that looked this bad if I tried. Uh, perfume from Europe for $30. Replica of perfume of famous brand, perfume with numbers. Fragrances, 20%. Uh, 20% of what? Perfume with numbers. What does that mean? <laughs> what is this a replica of? And why don't they use the name of the stuff here instead of calling it perfume from Europe? And uh, what's great is there are no other pictures. This is the only one you get. Brand new, Latafa Bade El Oud Amethyst 100 mil for only $85. I see that didn't go so well. This Colgon smells so good and amazing. Two sprays and this well lasts you the whole day. Surely this doesn't actually cost $55, right? <laughs> nope. Oh, and here we go. I thought 40 bucks for a used Afna 9pm was bad. Here it is for 60. 95 mil left, barely used. Great stuff. Name brand cologne, mostly three quarters full. I'll be the judge of that. We'll consider a trade for an iPhone. Interesting. I've been looking through these pictures and it looks like Dude went to the discount aisle in a Marshalls and just scooped it all into his cart. Love this. Yeah, let's trade that for an iPhone. And uh, I wonder if this Kenneth Cole black comes with the dust on it. Also, what's going on with the cap on this, the one? How does that happen? Dolce & Gabbana light blue, Perome, 125 mil, 10 mil used for testing. Uh, that looks like a bit more than 10 mil, but sure. Uh, also, I love this Adidas pure game developed with athletes. <laughs> Cologne text me ASAP will be sold soon $70 used but very good prices start at 70 and go up testers only for this man if it's got a cap he doesn't want it hell yeah Versace Eros flame 200 mil these pictures kick ass <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where this is uh, is this like in his work at a dealership like where is this car parked because clearly there's snow out there and you can see snow in the reflection here I spent way too long trying to figure that out. Highly discounted fragrance by request, $100. Comes brand new with box and receipt. Upon request, I can retrieve fragrances of your choice. Prices negotiated per fragrance, not set price. 
What? Is this like a service for me to get stabbed quick? Ah, okay, so here's one that I have uh, some history with. Uh, Mancera Cedrat Boise, $160. Blind bought a couple of fragrances, ended up liking a couple. Smile. Great niche cologne, thought I'd like it, but I didn't. Why is it great? Uh, open to trades, 110 mil. It's not, it's 120. Open to a negotiation, blah, blah, blah. So I actually uh, messaged this guy hoping to buy this when this was a brand new ad. Uh, this says listed 17 weeks ago and we're recording this uh, mid-April, so yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, so I messaged him to buy this when this was a new ad and it was at 180. Uh, I think I offered him 110. He countered at 160 and I said, look, I'm offering you 110. I can find this online for $100. Uh, I think this is a fair offer. Uh, he did not accept. <laughs> and uh, 17 weeks later, here it still is. And I actually went and bought my Cedrat Boise uh, for $100 and uh, just wound up selling it on here a few weeks ago for a hundred dollars. So I'm hoping this guy didn't buy it at full price, but uh, if so, you're just gonna have to take that L. Also, hell yeah, live, laugh, love sign in the background. <laughs> I didn't know anyone actually owned those. I thought it was just a joke. Okay, here's another great one. Versace Eros Eau de Parfum for 85 bucks. It is approximately 65% full. Yeah, it's just another one of these where you can find it online. Uh, 100 mil new for 89.45. So stop trying to sell used things for like twice as much as they're worth, please. It's taking a toll on my heart. Oh! <laughs> I was going to uh, show this one just because this is the leading picture here, the Fragrantica notes. That's badass. And then look who it is, Mr. Live Laugh Love, trying to sell Lavender Intense for $55. I don't even know. Is that a good price? Let's look. Uh, I mean, come on. $54.75 and used for slightly more. Oh, this guy's got to figure it out. Why sell La Nuit de Lome 2018 batch? $55 firm. 100 mil around 60 mil full, no cap. So if you were trying to sell something and make it look appealing, why is this the first picture that you choose? <laughs> like I have a hundred mil of La Nuit de Lome from slightly earlier than this person. And like, what even is this? How does this get on here? Mine doesn't have that on the back. I don't think it has anything on the back. Okay, I have to go look. Hold on. No, it's got literally nothing on the back. Like, what is this? Like, here's the thing that I'm trying to sell you. It looks pretty messed up, but still give me money for it anyways. Uh, okay, so here's another uh, Cedrat Boise. Uh, oh, excuse me, Cedrat Bows for only 25 bucks more than it's worth. Here's Parfum Marley Herod, 75 mil. This is the first picture. What, uh, why? Why is that off? What are you doing? <laughs> Again, like if you're trying to sell something, and you're choosing the first picture that you're gonna show to people. <laughs> Why is it this one? Also, the thing that just gets me about Parfums de Marly is that, like, you can see the spelling right here. So why are you spelling it this way? Like, it literally says it in front of your face. It takes you more effort to spell it wrong than it does to read, oh, it's like this. It's it's right there. Selling my 60 mil Dior Sauvage Elixir has about 99 mil on it sprayed at once. Something about that math doesn't quite add up. Perfume. Initio. Initio Perfume. Unisex. Amazing fragrance. Open box. Bought from USA. This open box perfume purchased from the USA offers an irresistible combination of notes that will make heads turn on. Key features. Unisex fragrance suitable for all occasions. Exquisite blend of floral, fruity, and woody notes. Long-lasting scent that lingers throughout the day. Open box. Ensuring authenticity and freshness. Uh, so nowhere in this ad, uh, as you can tell, does it say what this is. It just says Initio Perfume. Uh, frankly, I don't know if the seller even knows what it's called. Uh, okay, so it is, in fact, Side Effect. Oh, and uh, by the way, they are offering this for $450. <laughs> Love this, Latafa's Ajwad. Uh, this is brand new imported perfume. <laughs> uh, yep, pretty much every perfume that isn't made in Canada is in fact imported into Canada. That's a, that's an astute observation. Oh, Sauvage EDP, $125. Looks like it's three quarters full. Come on. All right, here's another one. Rip off of African leather for $45. It's $30, guys. Come on, please, please. Personal fragrances, $111. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't. 
I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Used once and decided I didn't like. <laughs> YSL women's perfumes listed for $1,111,111. No, it's not free. Message me for the price. Just put the price in the thing. <laughs> okay, a nice bottle of Jimmy Choo Man Intense. Jimmy Chooch Intense. <laughs> $60. Description, 100%. Like, why? Well, it says it. It says it on the bottle. It's Jimmy Choo. It's not Jimmy Chooch. <laughs> Okay, this is the guy who is just trying to sell side effect for $450. Brand new luxury perfume, one of my fragrance collection. So this is the 70 ml bottle. He's selling it for 450 bucks. If I go on Francis Kirkjohn's website, it's, it's 425. Like if I buy it directly from the source, not even used, it is... Well, that's about all this I can handle. Just every time I look at Facebook Marketplace, I lose more and more faith in humanity. I don't even know how to close out the video at this point. Just, um, uh, just don't be one of these people. <laughs>